I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Spring football begins next Monday, April 23rd. If anyone is interested, make sure you have over a 2.0 GPA. Uh, update, updated physical, you need the EL2 form from the Florida High School Athletic Association. And you need to also make an uh, account on Register My Athlete and uh, see Coach Brandon many times this week if you're interested. The last day to check out books is May 1st, and all books are due by May 11th. Do enrollment books need to be turned back in when the course is over? Prom tickets go on sale in the lunchroom for $50. Check your fines and fees to see if you can get your ticket. If you haven't taken the PERT test yet, you can take it at IRSC. But IRSC will not be giving the PERT test on any days listed here, so make sure you schedule on a day that's not one of these days. Are you interested in running for your 2019 senior class government board? If so, you need to see Miss S in the office to pick up an application. And they're due back Monday, April 20th. Attention seniors, class day permission slips are in the main office. Remember, you must have a signed permission slip and your money turned in no later than April 26th by the end of lunch to be able to participate in senior class breakfast. See Mrs. S in the main office to sign up for bus times as well. Thank you. Good Tuesday morning, OHS. Just sending some love to those sophomores. They're in FSA testing right now, so that's why, you know, when you're moving around campus, just try to be respectful of them in those rooms. Got a, got a message for the senior class, and I need you to pay attention to me, and if you need to share this video, that's okay. Word on the street is we're planning a barbecue for Friday, and yeah, it can't happen, and I'm going to give you a couple reasons why. A, we're going to be still in the middle of catching up some sophomores um, with testing, so that's a graduation requirement for them, so we're going to stay business as usual in classes. Here's another reason, seniors, why it's time for you to just stay in classes and actually finish. There is a large number of you that actually are already over nine days. So you're getting to the point now where you must pass the final, so you're gonna need every minute of classroom opportunity that you can, because if you don't pass those finals, especially in government, economics, English 4, or any requirements that you need, you won't be at graduation practice. And we talked about that at the beginning, that that is the goal to be there to actually graduate in May. June graduation should not be an option because there is no June graduation. We would just print you out a diploma, so that's one thing. Another thing is we're going to talk a little bit about senior privileges, what all you guys get to do when you're seniors. And I'm saying this now so the freshmen can hear it, the sophomores will hear it later, the juniors, you can hear it. This is all the days that you actually miss your senior year as a privilege. You get out one day for wood hauling. You get to run around town and get pallets. You have a bowling day trip. We sent you to the bowling alley the one day when we had, I believe we had some PSAT or something going on, so we sent you that day. You decided on your own to take two senior skip days, the Friday before spring break and the Monday after spring break, and the majority of you, not all of you, participated. Bush Gardens trip to save you money and to actually be able to get charter buses for a reasonable rate we decided to go to Bush Gardens during the day because Universal was way too expensive and you'd have to ride school buses to get there at night. So we did that so the majority of the people could do. That was during a school day. You're also your class day, the day where we get you guys all down and take you to breakfast and parade you around and show your slideshow and have the key exchange. That is actually a class day too that, that you're not, we're, we're, we're basically giving you that day because it's your last day on campus. You also get out at least a week early from school um, so we can finalize your grades and make sure you're ready for graduation practice. So you miss a lot of school anyway. Um, so I think I've been pretty, you know, pretty open-minded to a lot of the things we've discussed over the years and, 
and that, but Friday is a non-negotiable. We are not doing a barbecue on Friday. Um, so again, I, I, I'm not going to sit here and do threats and say this is what's going to happen if you do. There will be consequences. Um, so just make sure you stay handling your business, what you need to do to get across that stage, because that is the point we're at right now is basically finishing strong, getting you to your class day, getting you to your exams, and then getting you to graduation practice, ultimately leading to the Friday night, May 25th, where you walk across the stage. So if you have any problems, questions, or concerns, you can always email me or you know where I'm at at lunch. That's what I got. Well, sports, we don't have a whole lot going on right now, but we do have baseball tonight. Varsity at home versus South Fork. Yes. It's a doubleheader. The, Making uh, up yeah, a game that's tied three to three in the third and then fin and then playing the second yeah. game against South Fork, which is a district bow. Ought to be a beautiful night for baseball. Nice and a little bit on the cool side. Come out and watch watch your Brahmins. <laughs> Miss Myers. Uh, dual enrollment students, we're getting a lot of questions about okay, what happens when my class ends? first week of May and I have nowhere else to go. Um, if you're an IRSC student and you go to IRSC the third or fifth hour, the buses will continue to run. So we expect you to be on those buses, going to IRSC and using that time as a study hall. If you have a flex pass in your own vehicle, leave campus. If you have no way off of campus, you are to report to the main office if the media center is closed. It's gonna be closed a lot over the next few weeks for testing. Um, so you're not wandering campus, you're not filling in other classrooms um, where they're trying to teach their standards to get us through to their common course exams. Um, if you have a dual enrollment class on campus, you are to report to that classroom during that time if you have no way off campus. Of course, if you have a flex pass, you're more than welcome to use that for you. Um, every person in the car must have a flex pass giving them permission to leave that hour. Otherwise, you were to report to that dual enrollment classroom and use it as a study hall. Some of you can use that extra time for either upcoming test finals in your other classes or even um, summer one starting that first week of May. Last thing, make sure you check. Um you can check Go Brahmins on Facebook. There is a lot, especially towards the end of the year, we get a lot of recognitions, a lot of honors are coming. Um, so I'm just trying to, whenever I come across something like that, I try to fa I try to put it on the OHS uh, Facebook page. So I, there was even a couple of things I put out there yesterday. Um, so if you're on Facebook, if you're not, go check your parents' Facebook, I guess. Um, so just I'll try to keep that stuff coming. If you get good news, acceptance letters, anything, I get texts all the time. But as soon as I check a text, it goes away. My memory is really bad. So if you send me an email, I have a system, I promise. I have a system. If you send me emails, that I get it in newsletters. And then sometimes that stuff makes the announcements too. But it definitely goes out in newsletters. So if your parents aren't signed up for the newsletters, or you don't send me an email, um, I get texts all the time from parents going, why haven't you said Johnny got accepted to wherever? Um, I probably didn't get an email. Well, I sent you a text. Yeah, I don't do that. Just send me an email and we're good. I have a system. It, the system actually works. So email is the best. Tettersdy at oki.k12.fl.us. It's It works. It's my system. It keeps my ADD in check. Have a great day. Be Brahmins. Be great.